Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to use the delay effects on your vocals in BandLab. Delay is used to add a copy of your vocals that is heard after your vocals. And in this video, I will show you how to use the Deep Delay and the Deep Delay Plus effects in BandLab. On the vocal track record screen, tap on effects. If you want to add the effect to a preset you are already using, tap on the preset settings icon. Then tap on the plus icon. Otherwise, tap on the plus icon to create a new effects preset. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the delay tab. Then tap on D delay. Drag the dot on the line below the word time to change how fast the vocals are repeated. Drag the dot left for faster vocal repeats. Drag the dot so it says about 0 0.020 Hz in the text box to the right of the word time for a doubling effect that will make your vocals sound thicker in the mix. Monsters. Or to the right for slower vocal repeats. Drag the dot so it says about 0.900 Hz in the box to the right of the word time for an echo style effect. Monsters. Drag the dot on the line below the word feedback to set how many times the vocals will be repeated. Drag the dot to the left to reduce the number of vocal repeats. Drag the dot so it says about 7% in the text box to the right of the word feedback for just a few vocal repeats of the vocals. Monsters. Or drag to the right to increase the number of vocal repeats. Drag the dot so it says about 70% in the text box to the right of the word feedback for a lot of vocal repeats of the vocals. Monsters. Notice that each vocal repeat is not as loud as the one before, so you get a fading effect. Drag the dot on the line below the words high pass to remove low frequencies from the vocal repeats. The further the dot is to the right, the more of the bass sound is removed from the vocal repeats. To avoid the vocal repeats, making the vocals lose vocal clarity, drag the dot all the way to the right. So it says 1200 Hz in the text box to the right of the words high pass. Drag the dot on the line below the words low pass to remove the high frequencies from the vocal repeats. The further the dot is to the left, the more of the treble sound is removed from the vocal repeats. For vocals, I would recommend dragging the dot until it says about 6000 Hz in the text box to the right of the words low pass. Monsters. Drag the dot on the line below the words dry level to change the volume of the vocals. Normally you would leave this set at 100 in the text box to the right of the words dry level. But at the end of this video I will show you a situation where you would set it to zero instead. Drag the dot on the line below the words wet level to change the volume of the vocal repeats. Drag the dot to the right to make the delay effect louder. Drag it so it says about 70%
In the text box to the right of the words wet level, if you're using the delay to double up your vocals. Monsters. Or to the left to make the delay effect quieter. Drag it so it says about 30% if you are using the delay as an echo style effect. Monsters. Drag the dot on the line below the word volume to set the amount of gain. Drag the dot to the right to make the dry level and wet level louder, or drag to the left to make the dry level and wet level quieter. Normally, you don't need to move this dot. D delay and D delay plus are basically the same thing, except D delay uses frequency to delay the vocal repeats, and D delay plus uses either milliseconds or is synced to the beat. D delay plus is also a stereo effect. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the delay tab. Then tap on D delay plus. Drag the dot on the line below the word time to change the timing of the vocal repeats. Drag the dot to the left so it says 1 16th beat in the text box to the right of the word time for a vocal doubling effect. Monsters. Drag the dot so it says one half beat in the text box to the right of the word time for an echo style effect. Monsters. 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 Tap on the text box if you want to set the timing in milliseconds. Monsters. 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 Tap on MS to set it back to beats. Beats will automatically keep the vocal repeats in time with your music, even if you change the tempo of your song. Milliseconds will set the vocal repeats to a fixed time delay. Feedback sets how many times the vocals will be repeated. Tap on the text box to the right of the word feedback. Type in 7. And tap on save for just a few vocal repeats of the vocals. Monsters. Monsters. Or type in 70 and tap on save for a lot of vocal repeats of the vocals. Monsters. 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 Each repeat is not as loud as the one before, so you get a fading effect. High pass removes the low frequencies from the vocal repeats. To avoid the vocal repeats, making the vocals lose vocal clarity, tap on the text box to the right of the word high pass. Type in 1200 and tap on save. Low pass removes the high frequencies from the vocal repeats. For vocals, I would recommend you tap on the text box to the right of the words low pass. Type in 6000 and tap on save. Dry changes the volume of the vocals. Normally you would leave this set at 100. Wet changes the volume of the vocal repeats. Tap on the text box to the right of the word wet. Type in about 70. 
then tap on Save. If you are using the delay to double up the vocals. Masters. Or type in 30. Then tap on Save. If you are using the delay as an echo style effect. Monsters. Volume sets the amount of gain. Normally, you don't need to change this. Finally, spread sets the stereo width of the vocal repeats. Tap on the text box to the right of the word spread. Type in zero. Then tap on save. To keep the vocal repeats in the middle of the mix. And just behind the vocals. Monsters. Or type in 100. And tap on save. To move the vocal repeats out to the left and the right of the vocals, creating a backing vocals type of effect. Monsters. To avoid the vocal repeats muddying up the musical instrument tracks while keeping the vocals clear, I would recommend typing in about 15. Monsters. Earlier, I mentioned that sometimes you might set the dry level to zero. Well, I like to keep the delay separate from the vocals. So here is an example of how I would do that. Tap on the mixer settings icon on the track mixer screen. Tap on the three dots on the vocal track. Then tap on duplicate. And now tap on the mixer settings icon again. Double tap on the duplicate track header. Tap on effects. Tap on the plus icon. Tap on the delay tab. And tap on D delay or D delay plus. Then tap on the text box to the right of the words dry level. Type in zero. And tap on save. Now change the other settings as needed. Monsters. Then tap on the back arrow. And tap on the X icon. Monsters. You can now add other effects to the vocal track without affecting the delay effect. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.